Ah, let us delve into the tale of Great Houses of Caldaria. It's a delightful game where you guide a noble house, nurturing it from the modest beginnings of a small barony aspiring to ascend the ranks of society. But alas, not all is as splendid as it seems. The thing that drove me to cast it aside was the haunting echoes of counter games. Ah, the toil of mid-game objectives, when your city must burgeon to a population of 12. Yet, the path to such growth lies in the fickle nature of citizen happiness. Each joyous soul contributes to a daily counter, a tiresome clock that ticks and ticks until at last a new citizen emerges. But the wait, hours upon hours in the real world, simply to see one more face in your city. It is, I must say, a tedium most profound. Surely there are exploits, clever little tricks to hasten the passage of time, but these are shrouded in mystery, hidden within menus that offer no clear solution. Ah, how I longed for more more options to manage my domain. Imagine throwing grand festivals to attract merchants and bolster trade. Or perhaps the iron fist of forcing serfdom upon the people to swell the population, the spoils of victory after vanquishing a bandit army. Yet the experience felt threadbare at times, as though it lacks the richness, the depth that would truly make it shine. Yes, it is a game that cries out for the tender touch of community mod support to fully realize its potential. So in the end, I do recommend Great Houses of Caldaria, though I must say there is room for so much more.